Good evening, everyone. We hope you are all huddled up with your team, ready for the show. You should have all had a goodie bag to enjoy, and if you don't have yours, your coach is enjoying yours for you. Things might look a little different this year, but don't worry, we're gonna bring the excitement. It's crazy, this is our 11th year doing the Maverick Awards event. Time sure flies when you're having fun. Most of you know us, but for those of you who have never stepped foot into the Hamilton Academic Excellence Center, I'm Lindsay ekwar Ekwu, Associate Athletic Director and Senior Woman Administrator. And I'm her sidekick, Danny Brook, Director of Student Athlete Development and Copy Repair Person. Thanks for that, Danny. Uh, before we get into the show, I first want to say how proud of you that we are. Each and every one of you has faced adversity this year in countless ways, and you have never given up. You continue to work hard on and off the field of competition, and we cannot ask for more. You guys have shown grit and determination. Through triumphs and tribulations, you have stayed strong and together. Our hope, just like everyone else's, is that you all come out of this time in your lives stronger than when it all began. It is no small feat saying you have lived through a pandemic. And to do that while you're competing and trying to win championships, it says something, so keep it up. All right, guys, let's dive into the program. Linz, I was thinking, do you remember when we were younger and you'd put those quarters down the slot, like as you're walking into like a, I don't know, like a grocery store? You put down, it slides down, and it spins round and round and round and round and round, <laughs> and it keeps going faster and faster until it like hits the bottom. Sure. I kind of feel like this is how the year was. We just like started pretty slow and then bam, we're done. You know what, I actually do, and our heads might still be spinning, and although this spring was a blur, we still had some pretty great highlights. The women's basketball team made it to the Summit League Championship for the first time in school history, becoming the first eight seed in league history to advance. In the process, the Mavericks picked up their first top 25 win in the Division I era. The hockey team finished in the top half of the NCHC and earned the fourth NCAA tournament berth in program history. Chase Primu was named second team all NCHC. The women's soccer team earned its second berth in the Summit League tournament in the last three seasons and made it to the championship game. The Mavericks also put two players on the all Summit first team, two on the second team and five on the all newcomer team. The men's soccer team beat crosstown rival Creighton for the first time, winning three to nothing at Coniglia Field. Sadie Limbach, became just the second Maverick in the Division I era to be named to the AVCA Midwest All-Region Team, and Claire Mountjoy was named the Summit League Defensive Player of the Year. Mally Lorenz earned her 100th career win for the women's tennis team, becoming just the fifth player in school history to do so. The baseball team picked up its first top 25 win in the Division I era when it beat number 22 Oklahoma to open the 2021 season. Freshman diver Darby Drake was named the Summit League Diver of the Week three times, and Caroline Gardner medaled at the Summit League Championship in the 100-yard breaststroke. In men's basketball, Matt Pyle became the 42nd 1,000-point scorer in school history. And the softball team won its very first game at the Connie Clausen Field, beating Northern Colorado 10-2. I don't know if there's anyone more proud of you in all this department than Trev Alberts, our Vice Chancellor for Athletics. Thank you, Danny and Lindsay, and thank you all for being a part of our virtual Maverick Awards this year. This show is our annual celebration of UNO student athletes, and this year it's also a celebration of your remarkable determination and courage in the middle of this pandemic and all of the challenges that it has presented to all of us. As an athletic department, we've all worked very hard to help you be successful in the face of so many uncertainties. We haven't been perfect, that's for sure, but our staff did everything it could to make sure that you had an opportunity to compete. And as we near the end of the season, I could not be more proud of your high achievement, both athletically and academically. And I hope that you are equally proud of yourselves. Each year, we give out the Director's Award, and the goal is to recognize someone who's made significant contributions to the success of the athletic department and might not otherwise be noticed. Sometimes we honor people from the campus community, but this year we want to say thank you to one of our own. And the winner of this year's Director's Award is Mike Nicola. Mike Nicola is the head athletic trainer here at UNO. 
And during the pandemic, he worked tirelessly to make our student athletes safe. To say he took on some extra work is just scratching the surface. In conjunction with our campus partners at UNO and UNMC, Mike made sure our department had the latest guidance from top doctors as well as county, state, and federal authorities. He helped our department be more efficient in the care of our student athletes and kept us nimble in an ever-changing environment. Most importantly, his dedication to his profession and his leadership of the athletic training staff made our department the envy of its peers, both in the Summit League and the NCHC, when it came to health and well-being of our student athletes. Mike thinks he was invited here to talk more about our response to COVID-19 this past year, but he's not here for that. Instead, we invite him up here to accept UNO's Director's Award for Outstanding Service to Maverick Athletics. This was a complete surprise. Like Trev said, I was, thought I was here to talk about the uh, wonderful job our student athletes, our coaches, and our staff did with uh, adhering to new practices, uh, new procedures to get through this ever-changing athletic landscape that we had this year. Um, I'd like to thank Trev. Thank you to the entire administration. Uh, thank you to our coaches for believing in uh, myself and our department. Uh, basically turning things over when it came to the pandemic to uh, the athletic training staff. Um, but I'll tell you what, it was the student athletes who sacrificed, who had a lot of patience with a lot of different procedures that were put into place. And uh, they're really the real winners throughout this athletic year uh, to be able to compete, to be able to adapt to the ever-changing environment uh, so to them, I want to thank them for their help, I guess, in reaching this award. So thank you. Okay, so I do my best to look at the silver lining and things. And I have to say, because of COVID, this is the first year that we have every single team at the Maverick Awards. Woo! Thank, thank you, you, technology. COVID. Each year, we are continually blown away by your performances in the classroom. And this year was nothing short of pretty great. Then you add in the athletic component, and I'd say we're, we have quite a few things to touch on tonight. But first, let's start with honoring our senior class of 2021. Brett Bonar, baseball. Matt Bondarchuk, baseball. Braden Eckout, baseball. Cam Fowler, baseball. Keel Crumweedy, baseball. Jacob Moeller, baseball. Mason Prasoski, baseball. Josiah Scott, baseball. Parker Schmeckel, baseball. Kevin Conley, hockey. Jordan Clare, hockey. Ayo Akinwole, men's basketball. Matt Pyle, men's basketball. Nathan Brousseau, men's basketball. Patrick Raven, men's golf. Nil Ayats, men's soccer. Massimo Baron, men's soccer. Ed Gordon, men's soccer. Mitch Hammer, men's soccer. Connor Jokerst, men's soccer. Gonzalo Ledesma, men's soccer. Jonathan Lopez, men's soccer. Jeremy Pollard, men's soccer. Stevie C, men's soccer. Abdul Watara, men's tennis. Keisha Wells, softball. Haley Bartz, softball. Allison Helton, softball. Emily Klosterman, softball. Madison Ott, softball. Rebecca Martini, swimming and diving. Alyssa Parsons, swimming and diving. Sydney Schneider, swimming and diving. Scarlet Hill, track and field. Jesse Ixta, track and field. 
J.C. Shetler, Track and Field. Renata Bauquier Chavez, Cross Country and Track and Field. Anna Blaschko, Volleyball. Claire Leonard, Volleyball. Michaela Ekdahl, Women's Basketball. Juliana Chagas, Women's Basketball. Sophie Johnston, Women's Basketball. Claire Killian, Women's Basketball. Hannah Hunky, Women's Golf. Bailey Cascio, Women's Soccer. Andrea Daves, Women's Soccer. Kelly Lemke, Women's Soccer. Sydney Randall, Women's Soccer. Natalie Lorenz, Women's Tennis. Marie Kaplovich, Women's Tennis. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 21 Omaha Athletics Senior Class. Do you remember when you first set foot on UNO's campus? It's crazy to think how far you've come and how much everything has changed, isn't it? You have created some great legacies for yourselves and we are excited to see where you go from here. We know the impact you all have had from our perspective, but to hear it from one of your own means so much more. To help better, better tell their appreciation, Maya Noctigo would like to say a few words. To all of the seniors, let's just acknowledge the obvious. This year was not normal, it was not easy, and at times it was just not very fun. For many and most of us, we have had a season canceled and or have had a season be fully rescheduled to a different time of year. We constantly practice with the uncertainty of whether we would come back to practice the next day or whether the next competition was even going to happen. Things were different and there were a lot of challenges and struggles that came with it and you seniors had the toughest job. As a senior, it was your responsibility to show up through all of this change and to be a leader. Whether it was in competition, in the classroom, or on Zoom, at home, or anywhere else, you were looked upon to set an example and to lead your team. Regardless of all the uncertainty and change, you have carried yourself with grace, confidence, passion, and a drive to continue to succeed. Considering the circumstances with COVID-19, it would have been really easy to let up. It would have been so easy to complain, to quit practicing with 110% effort, or just to quit altogether. But you seniors kept your heads high. You reminded everyone around you to keep hoping and to keep trusting that our time will come when we get to rub the maps again and do what we love to do most. You did not let your team be affected by all of the changes and events that were occurring in the world. You approached the year with goals in mind to grow, to compete, and to succeed. Because of your leadership, the Mavs saw an exponential amount of growth and success this year. On behalf of all underclassmen, we thank you for that. We thank you for being strong for us and for continuing to be, to be leaders when each individual team needed it most. As an underclassman, I have learned and grown immensely from watching you seniors lead the way. Even to those of you who aren't on the same team as me, I noticed. The community noticed, your coaches and teammates noticed, and your friends and family noticed the impact that you had as a Maverick. And for that, I and the city of Omaha will always be grateful for you. Best wishes to you seniors in your future endeavors. Thank you. I'm always really proud when I get a chance to boast about you guys to anybody on campus. What you do is not an easy task, being successful in the classroom and on the field of competition. But we all know it is in Hamilton, or as many of you affectionately call it, the hammer, that you all grew to be just as great as you are. You all are pretty great, but there are two of you who specifically have reached a peak in your academic careers that many strive for. Each year we recognize one male and one female student athlete for their stellar academic performance throughout their entire four-year career here at UNO at the Chancellor Student Honors Convocation. The Male Scholar Athlete Award winner for 2021 is Matt Pyle. Matt is a four-year letter winner for the Omaha men's basketball team and a two-time academic All-American, earning third team honors in 2019 and first team recognition in 2020. The Wichita Canvas native was the 2020 Summit League Defensive Player of the Year and a two-time All-Summit Honorable Mention pick and a two-time academic All-Summit selection. He ranks third all-time in program history for career rebounds and fourth 
for career blocks, and he became Omaha's 42nd 1,000-point scorer in December 2020. Additionally, Pyle has been named to the NABC Honors Court, the Summit League's Academic Honor Roll, and Commissioner's List of Academic Excellence. Pyle carries a very impressive 3.94 GPA in chemistry. He will begin medical school at the University of Nebraska Medical Center in the fall. The female scholar athlete winner for 2021 is Andrea Daves. Andrea is a four-year letter winner for the Omaha women's soccer team. She has appeared in more than 60 matches in her career and is a three-time selection to the Summit League Academic Honor Roll. The Denver, Colorado native was also named to the Summit League Commissioner's List of Academic Excellence in her sophomore season. Dave currently holds a 3.97 grade point average in biology. A huge congratulations goes to Matt and Drea. Every one of you deserves a round of applause. Last spring, you all finished with a 3.562 GPA and 154 of the 251 of you were either on the Dean's List or the Chancellor's List. If you do the math, 90% of you from spring 2020 earned higher than a 3.0. That is truly impressive. And then there was this fall. You all outdid yourselves by 0 .001. That's right, you raised the semester GPA to a 3.563. Boom, baby! <laughs> 70... <laughs> 71 of you made the Chancellor's List. That is a perfect 4.0, mind you. And 88% of you earned a 3.0 or higher. Now that is something to write home about. And this is usually where we would ask each of you to stand up who earned a 3.5 GPA or higher, but we can't see you. So instead, feel free to stand up on your own and do your own little victory dance, whatever that might look like, and know that we are really proud of what you've each accomplished. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the Maverick Awards. So, the first award is for the best celebration. When the Maverick scores, we'd like to celebrate. So, here are the three nominees for the, from the past year. Our first nominee is Martin Sundberg. Scored his third goal in as many games against Miami on December 5th. And this one counted big time. The Sweden native tallied the winning score 17 seconds into overtime to give Omaha an NCHC win early on in the pod at Baxter Arena. A wild locker room celebration followed Omaha women's basketball's win in the first round of the Summit League tournament in March. Coach Kerry Banks' crew became the first ever eight seed to upset the number one team in Sioux Falls. The Mavericks followed the epic celebration with another win the following day to secure the program's first bid in the league final. Men's soccer newcomer Hugo Kamatani notched two goals and came within a breadth of a hat-trick against Creighton this year. His second score of the game helped Omaha to a 2-0 lead in its way to the program's first win over the Blue Jays. And the winner of the best celebration is women's basketball. You all are certainly no strangers to awards. And while we give out 10 awards each year, the number pales in comparison to those handed out to our student athletes by the conferences in which we play and by the NCAA. Each year, our student athletes are recognized by the Summit League and the NCHC for their consistent high achievement and competition. This includes All-American, All-Conference, and All-Region honors. When we do this in person, we have all of you who have been honored stand up and be recognized. Thanks a lot, Hey, COVID. wait, 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 they can still do that. Don't blame oh, COVID. I mean, okay. we can blame COVID okay. for everything, however, they can still stand and be honored. So all of you out there who've been honored as an All-American, as All-Conference, or our region performer, stand up and let the folks that you're watching it with give you a big round of applause because you've earned it. Okay, all right. Let's dive into the award winners. The folks at home might be running out of popcorn by now, so we probably should get the show on the road. Let's do this. First, we're gonna recognize the male and female athletes of the year. To help liven things up a bit, we have invited our student athletes to present these awards to their peers. Here to announce the Female Athlete of the Year from the volleyball team and past winner of the award is Anna Blaschko. And to announce the Male Athlete of the Year from the men's golf team, Pat Raven. Hello, hello. Our finalists for these awards all have a long list of athletic accomplishments. Whether league awards or career highlights, they all rose to the challenge each and every week. 
Our finalists for the Female Athlete of the Year were All Summit League Players of the Week and a leader for her groundbreaking team. Here are, the, here are this year's four female finalists. Claire Killian led the Mavericks to their first Summit League Championship final appearance in program history while scoring 11.9 points per game this season. Killian scored in double figures in 10 games, including three games with 20 or more points. In a win over Western Illinois, Killian scored a career-high 29 points while shooting 7 of 10 from three-point range. Seven trays are tied for third all-time in program history, while the 70% three-point shooting clip is tied for fourth all-time. Margaret Levine is a three-year member of the Omaha women's soccer team. The junior defender earned Summit League Defensive Player of the Week accolades on February 16th, following back-to-back -back shutouts versus the defending champion, South Dakota State. Levine has helped the Mavericks post nine shutouts this season, the most since 2008. Levine has logged more than 1,500 minutes, 13 shots, and four shots on goal so far this season. Sadie Limbach is coming off one of the most dominant seasons by an Omaha volleyball player in the D1 era. She finished her junior campaign as the Summit League leader with a 404 hitting percentage and third with more than four kills per set. Limbach's 404 hitting percentage is the highest by a Maverick in Division I and ranks second all time in program history. Limbach is the only player in Division I to hit more than 400 this season with more than 500 attacks. Limbach won Summit League Offensive Player of the Week four times in a row, becoming the first player in league history to do so. Limbach was the only Summit League player this season with at least 25 kills in three matches after totaling a career-high 25 kills against North Dakota, North Dakota State, and Oral Roberts. And this year's winner of the Female Athlete of the Year Award is... Sadie Limbach. I want to start off by thanking my team. Volleyball is one of the most team-oriented sports, and I wouldn't have even been able to be considered for this award without the success and the hard work given by my teammates this year. I also want to thank my coaches and the UNO staff. While unfortunately I've run out of years to be on this list, here are the three finalists for the Male Athlete of the Year Award, sponsored by Maverick Board. Chris Esposito has appeared in 23 games, including 22 starts for Omaha this season. Esposito is ranked in the top 10 of the Summit League in eight statistical categories, while leading the league with five homers and three triples. The junior is third with a 353 batting average and a 635 slugging percentage, while fifth with a 421 on base percentage, seventh with 19 runs, and eighth with 30 hits. Esposito was named the Summit League Player of the Week earlier this season after hitting 529 with a triple, three home runs, 11 RBI, and five runs in a series split at Missouri. Through the first 21 matches, Davis Lawley of the Omaha men's tennis team is 19 and 16 overall with a 10 and 8 record in singles and 9 and 8 mark in doubles. Lawley is 8 and 2 in his last 10 singles matches and has won six straight singles. Lawley has tallied five wins in the number four singles spot and has all eight doubles victories in the number two spot. Chase Primo had a career year for the Omaha hockey team, tying for the team scoring lead with nine goals and 14 assists for 23 points, all career highs. He finished in the top 10 in scoring in the NCHC for all games played. Primo was a member of the NCHC all-conference second team and was the runner-up for the NCHC sportsmanship award. He also was named NCHC Academic All-Conference and a Distinguished Scholar-Athlete. And this year's winner of the Male Athlete of the Year Award goes to Chris Esposito. My name is Chris Esposito and I play baseball here at the University of Nebraska Omaha. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking everyone who nominated me for this award. Uh, it's really special and means a lot. Uh, second of all, I'd like to thank all the coaches, Coach Porter, Coach Strawn, Coach Kenny, and Coach Trey for believing in me, allowing me to come to Omaha, just helping me get better every day at practice. Uh, next, I'd like to thank my parents for giving me all the resources that I need growing up to be able to be in the position where I'm at today. Uh, lastly, I'd like to thank all my great teammates and the great people that work behind the scenes at Omaha in the athletic department uh, just to make all this stuff happen. So. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it, and go Mavs. 
We talk a lot about the upperclassmen and the seniors and the roles they play on each of their teams. But everyone knows they had to start somewhere. And each year, we get a new group of students who come in with ambition and grit to make an immediate impact. And to make sure that we honor the first-time freshmen and the transfers, it's time to recognize the newcomers of the year. For that, we're going to pass the mic to two winners from past award, from the past award, Sammy Clarkson from volleyball and Matt Hume from men's tennis. The newcomer of the uh, the newcomer of the year award recognizes those students who are either freshmen, red shirts, or transfer students. On the men's side, we have players who have been outstanding in baseball, men's soccer, and hockey. On the women's side, our finalists have excelled in swimming and diving, softball, and track and field. First, here are our female nominees for this year's newcomer of the year award, sponsored by Center Trophy Company. Darby Drake joined the swimming and diving squad this season and has had an immediate impact. She earned three Summit League Diver of the Week honors and holds the team's top three scores in the one meter dive and the top score in the three meter dive. Her personal best this season is a score of 286.64 versus Sioux Falls in the one meter dive and a score of 260.41 versus Sioux Falls in the three meter dive. Through the first 24 games of the 2021 season, freshman right-handed pitcher Sydney Neismer has made six starts and seven appearances in the circle for the Mavericks. She's pitched five complete games and recorded a 3.12 ERA with 22 strikeouts. The Elkhorn, Nebraska native also has 23 plate appearances through 10 games. She has seven hits, including one homer, three runs scored, and six RBI. Junior transfer Sheridan Rodriguez made an immediate impact on the track and field program. Indoors, Rodriguez finished second in the high jump at the Summit League Championships with a jump of 5 feet 6 inches, a season best. It was the Mavericks' top mark in the event for the indoor season. For her performance, she earned all Summit League distinction. So far during the outdoor season, she also has posted the Mavericks' top mark in the high jump. This year's female winner of the Newcomer of the Year Award is... Sheridan Rodriguez. I'd first just like to take a second to thank all of my previous coaches and friends and family who have helped me get to the point where I am today. All of the support uh, throughout the years has been super appreciated. Um, but I'd really like to take a special second to thank my current coach, Jill Sutton. She is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, if it wasn't for Jill, I wouldn't even be here and I wouldn't even have the opportunity to be put up for an award like this or be continuing my track career. So. I am absolutely 100% thankful for her. Um, you know, this award and the idea of a newcomer of the year, um, it really speaks to me because I always try to preach it's not about where you start, it's where you end up. Um, I started my track career at a community college and I, the goal was to end up Division One. So here we are. So just to be able to stand here and be recognized for hard work in a completely new place, um, regardless of any situation is just an honor in general and very rewarding. So overall, I'm just extremely grateful for my coach and the opportunity to be even considered and noticed or recognized for my hard work and my athletics. So thanks. And now here are our male nominees for the Newcomer of the Year Award, sponsored by Control Services. Mike Bovey has started all 24 games for the Mavericks in his freshman campaign. Bovey is tied for fourth nationally and is first in the Summit League with 11 doubles. Bovey ranks third in the conference with 35 hits, fourth with a 343 batting average, and fifth with a 500 slugging percentage. The freshman has had 12 multi-hit games, including a career-high three hits in four of them. In his debut season, Hugo Kamatani leads the Omaha men's soccer team with 15 points, including a team best seven goals. The junior forward is a two-time Summit League Offensive Player of the Week selection this season. The Kashima Japan native netted the game winner versus Creighton on February 27th, just six minutes into action. And he scored the golden goal in the 93rd minute to upset Oral Roberts on April 3rd. Kamatani leads the Summit League and is tied for ninth in the country in goals this season. 
He also leads the league in points per game and shots. Sophomore transfer Jack Randall contributed to the Omaha hockey team from the opening faceoff of the season. He played in all but two games and tied for sixth in team scoring with 13 points on five goals and eight assists. A tireless worker, Randall often was charged with shutting down the opponent's top line. He was nominated for the NCHC's Defensive Forward of the Year Award. The winner of the New Male Newcomer of the Year Award for 2021 is Ugo Kamatani. Hello everyone, my name is Ugo Kamatani from Japan. Currently, I am playing for men's soccer team as a junior. In this time, thank you for nominating me as the newcomer of the year. I appreciate it and I am very happy as well. I want to thank everyone who supported me, including my family, teammates, coaches. I think without support from you guys, I wouldn't have been able to realize such a good year. To get even better, I want to keep up the effort and aim for more. Thank you. Our second social award of the night is the clutch player. The name says it all. This is the player who comes up big when his or her team needs it the most. Here are the three nominees from the past year. Cameron Meyer gained her third win in the circle for Omaha softball against North Dakota in March. The Omaha sophomore struck out 13 while allowing one hit, dominating the Fighting Hawks hitters en route to a 4-0 Maverick win. Brock Bremer became the latest Omaha hockey player to notch a hat trick in a 7-1 win over Colorado College. The newcomer added two assists to tie a school record for most points in a single game at five. For his milestone, the freshman was honored as NCHC Rookie of the Week. Sadie Limbach capped off an impressive stretch in Summit League play as the Mavericks ended the season against Oral Roberts. Her 25 kills against the Golden Eagles marked a career high, and the junior earned her unprecedented fourth straight Summit League Player of the Week award as a result. And the winner of the Clutch Player of the Year is Cameron Meyer. Quit flexing. I'm not flexing. This is natural. I'd ask you to show everybody your push-ups, but you really would get down there and start doing them. Good idea, because I wouldn't address. <laughs> Brett and Becca, what do you have for us? It's time to talk about who killed it in the weight room this year. I'm Rebecca Martini from Swimming and Diving. And I'm Brett Bonar from UNO Baseball. These are our Maverick Muscle Awards, a nod to all the hard work that our student athletes put in before the games, meets, and matches. Our Women's Award is sponsored by Kurz and Promotional Graphics, while the Men's Award is sponsored by the Sixth Mav Club. As a past winner of this award, I can tell you it's nice to be recognized for all the hard work that we put in outside of the games we play. I couldn't agree more. It isn't glamorous and sometimes it's not fun. A lot of times we're up early in the morning to get it done, but the results speak for themselves. Here are the three finalists for the Female Maverick Muscle Award. Juliana Chagas first arrived at Omaha as a junior college transfer. During the last three seasons, she has battled both small and season ending injuries. It takes a special person to be able to persevere through the challenges she's faced and come out successfully. Through the course of her return to play, she has trap bar deadlifted close to 300 pounds, back squatted more than 200 pounds, and benched more than 150 pounds. She is a great role model for her teammates and a leader in the weight room. Sammy Clarkson came in with a back injury from her senior year of high school. With hard work and discipline in all aspects of her training, physical therapy, and nutrition, she went from not being able to squat or hand clean to significantly improving her numbers in those lifts and others this year. She had the most improved vertical jump in the off-season program with two and a half inches. Sammy encourages her teammates, holds them accountable, and takes advantage of daily opportunities to grow and improve. Sydney Randall has been a standout in the weight room during her career as a Maverick. Day in and day out, she is consistent in her work rate and effort, always striving to push herself. Through her hard work and dedication, she has emerged as a leader in the weight room, constantly encouraging and cheering on her teammates to push themselves. 
She improved her deadlift and her squat by 25 pounds in the fall semester. Sydney exemplifies the characteristics of what it means to be a Maverick, becoming a role model for the rest of the team. And this year's winner is Juliana Chagas. Hey everyone, um, I'm so honored to accept this award. It means a lot to me. I couldn't say this journey was easy. Um, actually, it was far from easy, but I wouldn't change anything about it. From the many times, um, you know, going in and out uh, of the weight room into PT and vice versa, um, it was tough work. And many times I thought about giving up, but the ones close to me pushed me to greater heights and I'm so thankful for that. Um, thank you, Chris Hoden, for pushing me and believing in me in the weight room. Thank you so much, Taryn, for all the crazy PT programs um, to get the best out of me. Thank you, mom, dad, my husband, and my teammates um, for always supporting me and believing in me. And thank you so much, Coach Banks, Coach Red, Coach Jackie, and Coach Hudson for always expecting the best out of me. Go Mavs. And now here are the three finalists for the Male Maverick Muscle Awards. Kevin Conley has been both a great leader on the ice and in the weight room for the Omaha hockey team, particularly during the off season. Whether it was a bodyweight workout in his living room, a team Zoom workout, or being back in Baxter Arena training with his teammates, he wanted to get better and pushed himself and his teammates in their off-ice development. As camp continued, Kevin was maxing out the dumbbell racks with multiple exercises using the 100-pound dumbbells for both lower body and upper body training. He had to add a weight vest and adjust exercises to the barbell to hit the appropriate training weight. He had his best numbers in each tested parameter heading into the fall NCHC pod. Joey Machado is one of the team captains for the Omaha baseball team and his presence in the weight room reflects his role. Over the last few seasons, Joey has battled his fair share of injuries and setbacks, but with his work ethic and consistency, he was able to pitch off the mound again. Joey leads by example and is a role model for those around him. He has a 400 pound squat and a more than 400 pound trap bar deadlift and split squat. Jacob Weber is a leader on the men's tennis team. He has led his team in the weight room and he holds his teammates accountable. Jacob has improved his squat by 50 pounds and his bench press by 25 pounds. Through Jacob's leadership and example, the team has improved and performed at a high level in strength and conditioning. And the winner of the Maverick Muscle Award is Kevin Conley. Hello, everyone. First off, I want to say thank you for being nominated for this award. Also, I'd like to thank my teammates and our strength and conditioning coach, Mike Lewis. He uh, has motivated me on a daily basis to take my performance to the next level in the gym. So thank you again. Our next social award is the career-defining moment. It's that game, meet, or match where a Maverick made their mark. Here are our three finalists. Natalie Lorenz added a massive milestone in her final season as a Maverick, including fall competition, the senior women's tennis player notched her 100th career victory for Omaha, becoming the fifth player in program history to do so. And on the men's side, Abdul Watara set the tennis program record with his 34th career singles victory at St. Louis on February 28th, and the senior recorded a three-set and win in the number one spot to clinch the program record. And in women's basketball, a player with a history of perimeter shooting hit arguably the biggest three-pointer in the four years with Omaha. Claire Killian's deep ball with just two seconds left in regulation forced overtime with Western Illinois in February. Killian finished with 29 points and the Mavericks won a thriller in double overtime, 105-103. And the winner of the social award for career defining moment is Natalie Lorenz. One of the things that I like most about Omaha and being a Maverick is how we treat each other. Not only do we show respect by our actions, but we also give respect by how we help those around us. One of UNO's focuses is community service. And I'd say our student athletes do a great job of making an impact. Kirby Proctor, why don't you tell us a little more? So 
student athletes spend hundreds of hours in community service each year. To recognize them, UNO Athletics created the Bob Kruger Commitment Award. It is named in memory of Bob Kruger, a passionate and generous supporter of Omaha Athletics. I had the great honor to win this award last year. Now, this past year was a little different. The pandemic limited how much time we could spend in the community, but one student athlete found opportunities to stay engaged. For that, we tip our hats. I have the great honor to give this award to one of my best friends. The 2021 winner of the Bob Kruger Commitment Award is Nolan Sullivan. Sophomore Nolan Sullivan of the Omaha hockey team has been a leader in community service since arriving on campus. In a year when student athletes were encouraged to avoid outside activities, Sullivan still rallied his teammates to attend UNO sporting events. His efforts to support his fellow student athletes did not go unnoticed. Sullivan also has taken the lead in the hockey team's connection to Team Impact, building a relationship with partner and local student Isaac Barkas, who has been an honorary team member for several years. Hey guys, this is Nolan Sullivan. Uh, just wanted to thank you for um, this Bob Kruger Commitment Award. It means a lot coming from a, a crazy year with the pandemic and just a lot of question marks and, and not knowing if we were going to play. So um, just to see all the hard work pay off with uh, just my teammates and coaching staff and, and everybody involved this year to make sure things ran smoothly. Um, it's just a tremendous honor. So I just wanted to thank my whole coaching staff, thank all my teammates. Um, thank Mike Martin uh, for all the work he does with um, just Omaha athletics and just individual uh, players within our community. Um, it just means a ton to continue to grow as, as a family and continue to build this culture into something special. I just I believe in Omaha. I believe in what we're building here. Um, I also want to give a special shout out to the Bible study on campus too with all the athletes involved in that. And uh, just can't thank them enough with my teammates for this, the community support and encouragement uh, that they give me in order to push myself to grow and be the best version of myself uh, each and every day. So um, tons of thank yous to go around, but ultimately thank you Omaha and uh, thanks to all the people who made this year happen. I would say one of the coolest things about working in athletics is to watch someone go from a valley to a mountaintop. Life can sure come at us fast and sometimes unexpectedly, but... To respond with determination and a fierceness, that is something to be proud of. We hand out the Dr. John Langan Phoenix Award each year to someone just like you described, someone who has overcome an obstacle and used it as momenta to, momentum to keep moving forward. Zach Thornhill knows all too well about those obstacles as last year's winner. Zach, you can take it from here. The Phoenix Award is named for Dr. John Langan, a former Dean of the College of Education who was generous in time and support for Omaha Athletics. His award is sponsored by Exarban Cinema. In this year's group of finalists, we have four Mavericks who have persevered over significant physical injuries and personal loss to lead their teams in 2020 to 2021. Here are the four finalists for the Phoenix Award. Andrea Daves is a four-year member of the Omaha women's soccer program, appearing in 68 career matches. Prior to the start of her senior season, Daves lost her father to a battle with cancer in January. Despite the tremendous loss, she has been a leader on and off the field for the Mavericks and has tallied five goals and two assists this year while maintaining a 3.96 GPA in the neuroscience program. Sydney Schneider is a four-year member of the swimming and diving program. So far in 2021, Schneider holds the fourth and ninth best times in the 200-yard butterfly and has 16 top 10 finishes. In 2019-20, she recorded four top 10 finishes, as well as having nine finishes in the top 10 as a sophomore and three top fives as a freshman. Sydney has managed all of this while also receiving treatment for an autoimmune disease throughout her career. Undergoing intibio infusions every seven weeks, she's endured a tremendous amount of physical discomfort, but still shows up to perform well for the Mavericks in practice and at meets. Mark Timmons of the Omaha baseball team underwent Tommy John surgery in the winter of 2020. 
and through his hard work and perseverance, has played himself into the starting rotation for the Mavericks this spring. Earlier this season, Timmons tossed a career-high eight innings and struck out a career-high ten batters, allowing one run on four hits. Timmons is 2-1 on the year with 20 strikeouts in 21.1 innings in six appearances, including two starts. And the winner of the 2021 Dr. John Langan Phoenix Award is Sydney Schneider. Hello, my fellow Maverick athletes and Mav fans. Thank you so much for this award. It's, it's an honor and I'm humbled to have been a part of a consideration of something about overcoming something when I think we have overcome so much together this year. I wish we were all together right now instead of kind of making a video this way, but I'm optimistic of the future with UNO Athletics and UNO all together. I think we really came together this year and I'm excited to see where all of you guys are next year. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Sydney Schneider. I'm on the swim team. When I was about 16, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune diseases are kind of interesting and more difficult because someone could be suffering so much on the inside and have it not shown on the outside and really no one could know what's happening. Um, I always kind of struggled with the plan that God had gave, given me because I had so many dreams and aspirations at age 16 of wanting to become a collegiate athlete, wanting to compete at a high level. And it at the time seemed like it wasn't um, in my grasp. And that was that was kind of really hard for me to kind of wrap my head around. I'm, I really, I owe it all to my coaches, Todd, Jess, and Eric um, for kind of taking a chance on me and UNO and my teammates and the athletic community and the trainers and the staff and people in Hamilton and everyone that kind of helped me be able to succeed and really believed in me and helped me overcome the things that were thrown my way and my family back home and my parents, and my brother, and of course my dog. Um, being close in Lincoln, it was it was easy for me to kind of go home and, and I really needed their support and that was um, huge for me to have a home back home, but also a home here. And I'm just, I'm so grateful. I owe it to my teammates, my coaches and everyone that supported me I'm, I'm just so grateful and um, thank you UNL for changing my life forever. Our final social award of the night is the best streak. This goes to the Maverick who has put together the best string of outstanding play. Here are the three nominees. Omaha hockey caught fire to the end of the NCHC pod and to start the second half of the year. The Mavericks went more than one month without a setback going five and one in a six game stretch, culminating in overtime win at Colorado College in January. Baseball's Chris Esposito began 2021 where he left off in 2020, on fire at the plate. The Maverick Jr. reached base in 20 straight games and hit 351 during the streak with three doubles, three triples, five homers, and 22 RBIs. Esposito was named Summit League Player of the Week after hitting 529 with a triple, three home runs, and 11 RBI in series split at Missouri. Sadie Lindbeck made history in February, garnering Summit League Player of the Week honors in a fourth straight week, the first time in conference history. She led the Mavericks to a 7-1 record in the four-week stretch while hitting 524. Lindbeck totaled 4.83 kills per set and had three matches with more than 20 kills, including 25 kills against North Dakota and North Dakota State. And the winner is baseball's Chris Esposito. The Maverick Cup. Wait. Maverick Cup? Danny, do you even remember what the Maverick Cup is? It's been so long. I only think about it like every day. <laughs> Unfortunately, we aren't able to offer up any Maverick Cup winners this year because of the coronavirus. But you better believe coming next year, we're going to be coming in hot and we're going to be shining the spotlight once again. And we're back. We want to turn the focus a bit more towards the seniors for a minute. As you all know, being a Maverick is something that runs deep. You all have shed blood, sweat, and tears to help you get to where you are, and it doesn't go unnoticed. As we recognize our senior class, we wanted to give them the opportunity to express their thoughts and feelings about their time here as Mavericks. They have paved the way for you all to follow, and they have done some truly great things here at UNO. I could sit here all day and talk about, you know, the lessons that that I learned in my four years here. Most importantly, I've I've grown as a person, and that's 
thanks to the, the people I've been around and the obstacles I've overcome and the, the triumphs that we've had together. I hope that I kind of led by example um, and I just wanted to leave the girls, you know, with always making sure that they're working hard and being there for one another, whether that's on the court or off the court. I'm for sure going to be checking in on them, definitely, once I'm done. I think what makes you Maverick is, is a hard working person, whether it's in the classroom or on the field. Um, I think they do their best always, like I said, and, it's, and that's kind of how we unify ourselves, is always working hard and doing our best um, wherever we are. For myself and the other guys included, it's definitely special to have a team that's willing to go out there and win every game, or at least try to. Um, just hoping for the future generations to come in and have that same mindset. I learned that hard work truly, truly, truly pays off. If you work hard, then what eventually it'll come to you. You'll be rewarded for it, you just have to work for it. Five years down the road and I look back at my four years as, as a student athlete, I'll smile every single time because I have so many memories throughout these four years. It's incredible. I think Omaha Athletics in general is home. Like everyone there is such a great community and those like the locker room is my home. Like I go there more than I go home home anyway. So being around those people are definitely like, those are my rock and like that's where my heart is. So I think it's going to be really difficult to have to learn how to navigate what life is going to be like without um, them and seeing them every day and the coaches. Just having COVID this year, the obstacles we made, the things that we overcame. I hope I was able to leave somewhat of an impact of just resilience and even though it was my senior year ending kind of on a strange um, note that we can get through anything and I think that if they can take that same attitude for the rest of like the freshmen these next three years or the juniors one year left if they can take that same attitude I think next year is going to be a breeze. These are girls who I know I can call and like even if we don't talk for a couple months like we'd still pick up right where we left off and some of them are, could be in my wedding. It's cool to see the different friendships that I have on this team, and I'm forever grateful for every single person that I've met the last two years of being here. It's been great. My teammates are awesome. I've loved getting to be a part of a team with them, and it is an individualized sport. Like We are playing for our own self scores, but you also have to remember your score counts for the team. So. If you have gotten to like a rough stretch of holes, you have to like remember I'm, I'm here for my team, I need to get back on it and try and put a score together that works with the team. So yeah, definitely remind you that you are part of a team and what you do matters. I don't regret my decision in any way. If I could do it over again, I'd do the exact same thing. Like I said, I wasn't exactly you know, wanting to be a professional basketball player, but just this experience I've had, you know, a lot of people don't get to have playing in all these cool venues and you know, traveling and, you know, meeting your teammates and in that aspect. But, yeah, that's something that they can't take away from me, and I'm blessed to have that opportunity. I want to say thank you, Omaha, like the city, the people, my coach, players, and friends, the uh, athletic department. I mean, almost, even if I forget, like, someone just know, like, I, I just know that like, I think about you guys, and I just want to say thanks to, like, to everybody, and, yeah, let's go Mavs. Have any of you guys heard about a lady by the name of Connie Clausen? You know, the person whose name is etched into the turf over at our brand new beautiful softball field, the woman who started women's athletics here at UNO and coached many of our sports programs here. Yeah, she's kind of a big deal. Yeah. In fact, she has played such an instrumental role in our department and in the area of collegiate athletics. We have an annual award that pays tribute to her, seriously. We should all be asking Connie for her autograph. Like, I'm not kidding. People know her. So why don't we have Janae Cameron from the softball here, team here at UNO come up to tell us a little bit more. Living legend. That's the best way to describe Connie Clausen. If you haven't met her, do so. As female student athletes, we're all here today because of her leadership and tenacity. The Connie Clausen Senior Career Achievement Award recognizes seniors who have been sterling representatives of our campus during their four years here, and they have matured into leaders who are leaving a lasting legacy. The award is sponsored by the Leland and Dorothy Olson Foundation. Here are the finalists for this year's award. Anna Blaschko has been a four-year starter for the Omaha Volleyball Program. 
On the court, she finished her career sixth all-time in program history with a 329 hitting percentage and was the 21st Maverick in program history to join the 1,000 Kill Club. In 2019, Blaschko became the first Maverick in the Division I era to be named to the AVCA Midwest Region First Team. She is a two-time Academic All-Summit selection and was named COSIDA Academic All-District Second Team. Blaschko is a member of the Summit League Academic Honor Roll and Commissioner's List of Academic Excellence. Off the court, Blaschko has volunteered with Athletes and Elders, Read Across America, Fit Girl Incorporated, and Snow Day with the Mavs. Blaschko will graduate this spring with a degree in neuroscience. Andrea Daves is a four-year member of the Omaha Women's Soccer Program. She has appeared in 68 matches, making 46 starts while logging more than 4,000 minutes on the pitch. She's totaled 21 points, five goals, 11 assists, and three game winners during her career. With her second assist of the season, Daves became Omaha's Division I leader in career assists. In the classroom, she's a three-time member of the Summit League Academic Honor Roll and is also a member of the Summit League Commissioner's List of Academic Excellence. In the community, Daves has participated in Football for the World and Athletes and Elders. She will graduate this spring with a degree in neuroscience. Natalie Lorenz is a four-year member of the Omaha Women's Tennis Program. This season, Lorenz became just the fifth player to amass 100 career wins over fall and spring competitions. In 2021, she's compiled 13 doubles and nine singles wins. She also was a 2019 All-Summit League team member. She is a two-time member of the Academic All-Summit team and a member of the Summit League Commissioner's List of Academic Excellence, a three-time member of the Summit League Academic Honor Roll, and a three-time ITA Scholar Athlete. Lorenz is an active member of the Omaha community, having participated in Habitat for Humanity Omaha, Mighty Mavs, Snow Day with the Mavs, the Maverick Food Drive, Big Pitch, Omaha Parks and Rec, and CRCC Omaha. She was part of the Omaha team that earned the ITA Central Region Community Service Award on two occasions and was recently recognized as part of the Omaha Parks and Rec School Volunteer Group of the Year. Lorenz will graduate this spring with a degree in biology. The winner of the Connie Clausen Senior Career Achievement Award is Anna Blaschko. Connie Clausen has had a timeless impact on women's athletics at UNO. She is rightly celebrated and it's very humbling to receive an award with her name on it. I'm very thankful for this award and my deepest gratitude goes out to the people who have been by my side. To my teammates, thank you for every moment. Keep lifting each other up and pushing each other forward, and this program has such a bright future. To my coaches, Coach Rose, Micah, and Elena, and Coach Buttermore, Kelly, and Maggie, thank you for recruiting me, and thank you for every opportunity I've had here. To my trainers, especially Laura, Emily, and Mike, thank you for keeping me healthy and preparing me. To UNO athletic staff and media, Thank you for supporting and promoting UNO Volleyball. And to UNO Volleyball fans, the support over the years has meant so much to this team. Thank you. And what about Mr. Don Leahy and the impact he left on so many of us? You can find his name on the ice right here in Baxter Arena every hockey season. He is still deeply missed now three years since his passing, but we remain ever grateful for his legacy of leadership and integrity. He was quite a man. Agreed. And here to present this year's Don Leahy Senior Career Achievement Award is Michael Monaco from Men's Soccer. Like our class and award finalists, those who were considered for the Leahy Award this year are celebrated for their leadership, scholarship, and community service. They are the three pillars of a successful career for a student athlete. And learn pretty quickly when you get on campus how much effort goes into being good at all three. It's a tremendous amount of work. But the reward is full of rich college experiences you never could have imagined when you were a freshman. Here are the finalists for the Leahy Senior Career Achievement Award. Men's basketball player Matt Pyle capped his career as a two-time academic All-American and one of the most accomplished Mavericks in program history. The 2020 Summit League Defensive Player of the Year, Pyle also was a two-time All-Summit Honorable Mention pick 
and a three-time Academic All-Summit honoree. In 2020, he became Omaha's 42nd 1,000-point scorer and finished his career ranked third all-time for rebounds and fourth in blocks. Pyle will graduate in May with his bachelor's degree in chemistry and will attend medical school this fall. Stevie C is a four-year member of the men's soccer program with a growing list of career accolades. C was a member of the 2017 Summit League All-Newcomer Team and has logged more than 4,000 minutes on the pitch. He has five career assists and helped Omaha post 18 shutouts during his defensive career. He is a three-time member of the Summit League Academic Honor Roll, a two-time member of the Summit League Commissioner's List of Academic Excellence and All-Academic Team, and has two COSIDA Academic All-District Team accolades in his career. C is also responsible for organizing the largest food drive by a sport in Division I athletics. He also has worked countless hours for Omaha Athletics to help support all the programs within the department. In the classroom, C has maintained a 3.71 GPA in cybersecurity. And the recipient of the Don Leahy Senior Career Achievement Award is Matt Pyle and Stevie C. I'm extremely honored to receive the Don Leahy Senior Achievement Award. Even being nominated for this award is an incredible honor. Uh, first, I'd like to appreciate the guys uh, the other nominees, as this award is not given lightly. So here's to you guys. Uh, my story with UNO started long before most student athletes. Uh, in 2011, I was in attendance for the inaugural match of our men's soccer team as a ball boy, believe it or not. Uh, but little did 12 year old me know, I would be here 10 years later in this position. Bless doesn't even begin to describe how I feel. However, it must be said that I wouldn't be here without a bunch of people, uh, the best support I've ever, I could have ever asked for. To mom, dad, Grace, Nate, Riley, my family, you've always been there, haven't missed a game in over four years, and I couldn't be more grateful. Words don't even describe how I feel. Uh, included in that family are all the teammates that I've had over the years. Uh, we've shared countless hours on the field, tons of memories made, and every single last one of you, you guys will always be a brother to me. To Coach Warming and Coach Warming, I wanna say thank you for believing in this kid from Omaha. I'll forever be grateful for the opportunity you gave me to represent the university and the city. Lastly, I'd like to thank all the amazing people involved in the athletic program here at UNO that have made it home. From athletic trainers who will care no matter how many times you end up needing x-rays, to Danny, Lindsay, Kale, and the team up in Hamilton, to the coaches and administration who wouldn't mind stopping their busy day for a chat. Omaha is truly a special place because of every single last one of you. I grew up in Omaha, I'm from Omaha, but now more than ever, I know that my heart will always find the halls of SAP to be home. As I say, once a map, always a map. Thank you. I'd like to start off just by saying how incredibly grateful I am for being considered for this award. Uh, I'd also like to congratulate all the other nominees tonight for their hard work and achievements over the last year. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to thank my parents. Uh, they've given me the world, given me all the opportunities in the world to play the game I love, and I'm just incredibly grateful for that. Next to the coaches, um, starting with Coach Hanson all the way down for my last four years here. Thank you for believing in me, for giving me a chance. Um, <clears throat> it's been a it's been a fun four years, and I'm glad you guys gave me the opportunity to play the game I love. And lastly, to my teammates, <clears throat> I'll never forget some of the memories we have and the the times we've shared. I know if I ever need something in the future, I can call any one of you. So thank you for that. It's it's just been a long, rewarding four years, and when I look back on it, uh, I'll have a lot of memories and and friendships that I can take with me for the rest of my life. Thank you. All right, so those of you who know me know that I will happily take any leftover popcorn or goodie bags or anything else that you still have laying around you. You can drop them off tomorrow morning in my office. And those of you that do know her know that she's not kidding. No, not even a little bit. <laughs> Guys, as we wrap things up, we want to give a few shout outs to people on our side. Doing this thing virtually is not an easy thing, and our tech crew nailed it. Thank you, Jeff Packer and Lyle Kakowski for leading the charge. Thank you to Pam Schwarting for fighting for this event and finding a way to make it happen. 
She is so passionate and wants to make sure you all are recognized for what you have done and continue to do. So we wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for her and her dedication in putting this all together. Thank you also to the rest of the Maverick Awards Committee for its part in making this theme come to life. Finally, thank you to each and every one of you who do what you do day in and day out. Keep working hard in the classroom as we finish the end of the semester and keep winning games. And don't forget to bring your leftovers to my office tomorrow. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. Go Mavs!